So let everyone else. So I'm here with Gus Ferrat. I'm here with De oh PhD. We has had a PhD on too. He's over there looking like a crazy person. So I think you're a bit more stable than he is. <laughs> At least we'll find out. So tell everyone what you guys are doing on Radio Row because it sounds very important. So uh, I'm Dr. Gil Van Bachlen. I'm here with Gus Ferrat, and we're actually part of the Brain Health Summit that's been organized by Lee Steinberg and Steinberg Sports. So this is actually the sixth annual Brain Health Summit that they've run, and the 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 theme really is to focus on brain health issues or neurological health issues and uh, to educate people, build awareness, and also talk about some of the really exciting things, some of the new technologies that are going on to help us more effectively diagnose or characterize brain injuries. And then what we're doing at Athersys, where I'm chairman and CEO, is on ways to treat neurological injury, focusing are, on things like stroke or trauma. Are, are we finding more and more ways where you can identify some brain injuries more in real time? Than, I mean, we see a lot of things in... You know, after players have been retired for a while and you can scan their brains after people die and things like that. But is there going to be a way that we're going to be able to track this in real time? Well, that's funny you should ask because that's exactly what our tool does. The Roberto app will let you uh, monitor your brain performance in real time and give you the feedback right on your phone. It takes about six minutes to play. There's seven games on there. It's all game, it's, you know, kind of like video game based. And um, anybody can play from the ages of five to 105 and really let you know where your brain is. And just like you're saying, people have no easy way to track it, right? So what, what, what uh, Gil does is, is amazing, right? We want to get people some information before those traumas and those accidents happen. We want to be proactive in life. And so that's really what our goal is in this with this app. Is the brain like the other parts of the body where if you catch it at a certain point, you can rehabilitate it? Well, it's interesting. One of the really exciting things that we've learned about brain injury, which is common to many different forms of brain injury, is, is that there appears to be a window after an injury occurs that you can intervene to really help turn the course towards a more favorable outcome. So some of the things that we've shown from our clinical data and programs that we're, we've received uh, uh, favorable designations from the FDA and other regulators, fast track designation and other things, help us expedite development. And one of the things that we've learned is that after a serious concussive injury or a trauma or a stroke, there is a window that can extend for up to 36 hours to really intervene to help stem the, the inflammation that occurs in the wake of that injury, which turns out is one of the serious things that's driving long-term permanent neurological damage. So the, the ability to act uh, diagnose is with, uh, with the technologies that Gus is talking about, the ability to intervene with, with new forms of effective treatments such as we're developing an atherosis, that creates a really co exciting combination of things that can improve the path for people in all walks of life. How long have you been in this field for now? So we've been in the field for almost 20 years. Um, so we've been focused for the past 15 years on an area called regenerative medicine using an adult stem cell therapy that we can actually take adult stem cells and turn it into an off-the-shelf product. And our most advanced program is in phase three clinical trials uh, that is really focused on trying to help stroke victims recover from serious damage. So are you seeing, especially in terms of like NFL players and just, I mean, there's a movie that comes out and they're trying to get everyone to tell the truth about concussions. Yeah. Do you just find that there's more focus on this now? Absolutely. And is there more yeah. funding coming in, more serious research coming in? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's interesting. So Lee Steinberg, one of the reasons why he organized this event and one of the reasons why people like Gus and I are involved is because Lee sat down and wrote a white paper years ago where he noticed this common trend among athletes that were experiencing the same types of neurological symptoms and the same types of neurological disabilities. One of the exciting things that's come out in the last few years is that we've really uncovered a lot of the mechanistic details as to what is driving that damage. And again, it, it's because our brain is connected to our immune system. Once we have a concussive injury, it kicks off a serious wave of hyperinflammation, and that happens not only in traumatic injury or concussive injury, it happens in stroke and other things as well. Now we know that there's something we can do about it, uh, provided we intervene in the right time frame. But the technology that Gus uh, is talking about where we can diagnose and accurately evaluate athletes or individuals that might be affected by trauma is really important because it helps us evaluate in real time exactly what's going on with these individuals. Well, I would put it like this. You never went to your, got a physical, right? Right. And, and Doc, you can probably attest to this, that when you go in and get a physical, the, the your general practitioner never said, like, how's your brain doing, right? Never. It, it's not a, a, a conversation that you had with your general practitioner. That's what we want to start. We want to start that conversation when you're healthy. So if things change in your life, we have that information beforehand, and we can always compare you back to you. So we're not comparing you normative over a whole group of people. We want to compare you to you all the time 
So that's what our app does, lets you take it constantly as much as you want. Well, yeah. what, what if I'm just really bad at these games and it thinks that I have brain problems then and I don't? Then, <laughs> then your baseline will show up. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, it's, so just, it's yeah. just you. Right? Yeah, it's just right, who exactly. you are. Right. But, you know, I've got a son that plays college hockey, right? And hockey is well, very that, similar to the NFL. I, I really wanted to ask you about that. Why yeah. does football take all the heat for concussions when well, hockey's it, out there, soccer headers are uh, out there? Honestly, it shouldn't, and it affects a broad range of not only different sports and athletic endeavors, but most people don't realize that the trauma is actually the leading cause of serious disability and death among people age 45 and under. And, and a lot of that is neurological trauma. So the type of technology that Gus is talking about that allows us to establish uh, a definitive baseline and then evaluate over time how people are reacting or responding in situations, whether it's hockey, football, soccer, day -to -day uh, life. accidents, day-to-day -day life, that's really important because it allows us to gather a lot of information and then put it to good use in terms of diagnosing and then exactly. establishing treatment protocols. Well, you're here on DK Live. We have the fantasy community. There's one thing that fantasy players love is analytics yeah. and uh -huh. having a baseline to measure stuff against. Hey, is this, is this real? Is this not real? Is this going to regress? Is this not going to regress? So I think this really makes a lot of sense. I mean, I go to the dentist. They have my x-rays from when I was eight. So I would think that brain trauma and measuring your brain, having a baseline for that, only makes a lot of sense. Yeah, It, it really does, and, and there's been no easy way to do it, right? So you, you'd have to go see a neuropsych and get this whole thing. And, do, you, and, do, um, you, do you think it's one of the reasons is that people don't want to know if they have it or not? They don't want to have to think about that kind of thing? That it's a lot to throw on to someone. Let's yeah. say you're 28. I, I think it's a, a little bit a combination of the fear of the unknown. and but, but honestly, I think that perspective is changing because I think parents are becoming more involved. You know, in the old days, they used to tell people, look, if you, if you had a what they thought might be a con concussion, then you <laughs> waited until the headaches went away, and then basically you, you jumped right back in, right? But what we've learned through a whole series of experiences with professional athletes and college athletes and, and people in all walks of life, that was a really naive perspective. And now we understand mechanistically why it was so naive and, frankly, wrong. And so I think now that, that uh, parents and uh, companies like what Gus is talking about are developing technologies that allow us to evaluate this stuff, we're putting that information to better and better use. And that's really important because it'll allow us to do things in a way that I think is, is frankly far advanced over what we've just been doing in, in recent years. Well, everything else in your body you can track, right? Your, your blood pressure, your heart rate, all these things, uh, you can, diabetes, you check your blood, right? But for the brain, there's been nothing like that we can just go see and easily. And you talked about it, right? Sometimes people don't want to know, but to educate people on why they should know is the important part and what they can do if they notice things. Like, we all try new things in our life, diet, exercise, mental stimulation, socialization, spirituality. What works for me and what can make my brain healthy? Because as we know, it's the greatest miracle. It's right between your ears, and we got to take care of it. And, and it affects everything that you do. That's exactly right. That's exactly so right. So it, it seems like the way that you're talking about the way that people are assessing just even just looking at the brain and how we think about it right now and diagnosing different things. It's like you know, 450 years ago, the earth was flat. That, right. That's how it was. Yeah. Now we know that's not so much the case. Right. Well, it seems like that's how it's working with brain, just developing and researching the brain as well. Yeah, exactly. And I think that even recently, within the past few years, there's been instances where athletes might have an injury, a concussive injury, and, and then they get sent back onto the playing field or back onto the ice in, in too short of a time. And what a lot of people didn't realize until the last few years, based on research that we and many others have done, is that your brain is basically re revved up and your in inflammatory cycle is really revved up. So sending somebody back into the fray too quickly can have really serious consequences because basically their immune system and their brain is hypersensitized at that time. So what we now know is, is that you've got to wait for a certain period of time before doing that. It's not just when the headaches clear up and when the person... Right. Well, is it one of these things where like if you blow your ACL, there's a surgery for it, here's the timeline for you to come back. Maybe yeah. you come back a little bit earlier, maybe you come back a little bit later, but when you're dealing with brain injuries, they all seem like each one of them is completely different. So it's not like, well, you're up for two weeks. Right. Like, well, could, there, could someone be okay in five days? It might take someone else six months. Yeah, it depends on the severity of the injury. But the beautiful part of Gus's technology is that we can track things now and actually have, have a more specific sense of what is going on, and, and you have a strong baseline to actually compare it to. That plus some of the other things that are going on clinically I think are really critically important to making sure that we don't right. take risks. Right, and we're, we're all different, careful. right? Right. And that's the thing is that we're all different. And so what may give you a concussion may not give me, right? You've that's seen right. these hits like – 
how'd that guy get up from that, right? And we see all these things happening. And so we're all different, so that's why I wanted to create a tool just for you that you can track yourself and understand a little bit more about your brain. I, I mean, you explaining it as developing a baseline pattern for what I'm up to makes so much sense. And I think people get on board with that. So, again, can you tell everyone about the app and where they can get it? Yeah, they can go to robertoapp.com, and you can even go to robertoapp.com backslash Gus, get a free 30 days with the code Gus2018, and everybody can start monitoring and checking their brain performance. All right, well, thank you guys for coming by. It's great work you guys are doing. Yeah, thanks appreciate a lot. It. We appreciate thank it. Thank you a lot. Yep, thank thanks, you. Gus. All right, thanks for having me on.